Hey guys, welcome back to the McPhee Ford YouTube channel, and today the wait is finally over. We've been waiting for a couple of months now, ever since Ford released the Bronco and the Bronco Sport, and now we finally have a 2021 Bronco Sport Badlands Edition. So today, guys, we're going to get in, we're going to show you guys absolutely everything there is to know about this Bronco. So guys, enough of me talking, let's just get right into it. Alright guys, so we're going to get into the interior first, we're going to get into the outside a little bit later on in the video. So first we're going to start off with these seats, and my god these seats are absolutely beautiful. They're called Ebony Roast, uh, they're black leather inserts with brown leather all on the outside, and they have this really nice Alcantara kind of material with, as you can see, the Bronco uh, logo embroidered right into the backrest. Very cool, and uh, let's move on a little bit in the interior. The seats are great, uh, power operated both sides, heated so on so let's get in where the actual magic happens and that's right around the driver here so you guys are familiar with uh with a lot of ford's technology ford products and so on so this here is very reminiscent of other ford models you know your climate control you have your heated seats heated steering wheel and so on and this is the badlands trim level so this is the top level bronco sport uh, as we get more in in different trim levels we'll review each one independently but for now this is the badlands moving down below the climate control this one has the wireless charging pad for your phone. So you can just throw your phone in there, have it charged, have it connected to the Sync 3 system, listen to your music, uh, use your navigation, and so on. Also has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard with Sync 3. Charging ports, guys, and this thing are absolutely everywhere. You have a USB-C, a USB, a 12-volt charger down below, center console here, a couple more USB ports. This one has your dual-zone climate control, and like I said, guys, it's fully loaded. It's got everything. Bang and Olsen sound system. We'll get to that a little bit later on though. So most importantly guys, most importantly guys, is the GOAT modes. Go over all things. Um, let's get into these. There's seven GOAT modes available on the Bronco Sport Badlands trim level. There's a couple less uh, depending on which trim level you, you go with. But they all have GOAT modes. They all have different individual driving modes and uh, we'll get into that right now. So I'm gonna flip through on the screen here and I'll just list off what we see. So we'll start off here in slippery mode. So this is gonna set up the traction control, set up the differential, set up everything, all wheel drive system for you know that ice and snow kind of modes. Next up we have uh, we have sport mode. Sport mode, pretty self-explanatory, sets it up for sport. You can use the paddle shifters as you like. Uh, eco mode, makes the vehicle as uh, economical as possible. Now we have normal. This is just your everyday driving mode. Uh, you know, the vehicle figures it out what you wanna do. So uh, you don't have to worry about setting anything to sport or you know rock crawl or anything like that, but we'll get into that. Past sport, or past normal, sorry, we have mud and ruts. So this turns traction control off, it locks the all-wheel drive system, which as you can see down here, four-wheel drive is locked. And this has a uh, clutch plate sort of uh, four-wheel drive system with the differentials, very high tech, and uh, definitely gives enough traction to each wheel if you're you know off-roading or anything like that in your Bronco Sport. Moving on from this mode here, we have sand. This does the same thing, it sets up the traction control, sets up the, uh, the all-wheel drive system locks it again, locks a four-wheel drive. Pretty much the same. And then we have rock crawl. Rock crawl is definitely great if you're, you know, you guys have seen some videos online. These things going some pretty inhospitable places and doing some pretty crazy things you wouldn't otherwise expect with an SUV this size. But Ford Bronco, we got it covered. So you have your uh, your trail control, uh, which is your cruise control for off-road. If you guys uh, have seen our Raptor video, it's kind of the same thing. It's like a cruise control that you set two, three, four kilometers an hour. So you can kind of focus on things around you, not really worry about driving, you can uh, you can kind of set it up exactly the way you want it. Four wheel drive lock, uh, you can do that in most of the GOAT modes. Uh, something like normal and eco, you can't do the four wheel drive lock, but uh, you can definitely do that independently. And you can also, if you're in a mode that you don't want the four wheel drive lock on, you can turn it off as well if you're in rock crawl, sand, something like that. Uh, locking differential. So this will lock the rear end together, uh, making it easier to get out of like sticky situations and so on. And then again, your traction control just down below here. You can turn that off if you want to spin the tires or you know, you got, got to use some power to get out of a, a tight spot. A little bit up from here, 
this is very familiar, very reminiscent of previous Ford models. Uh, Ford's going with the uh, with the spin dial gear selector, so you have park, reverse, neutral, drive, manual here in the middle. You can use your paddle shifters. Now this thing has the two liter turbo with the eight speed automatic transmission. Uh, so this thing actually has a lot of power and it definitely gets out of its own way. For a vehicle this size, it's definitely got tons of pep, tons of go to it. So we'll put it back into uh, into park. Reversing here, you have your uh, you have your rear sensors. So if you're backing up, you, kinda, you can see uh, exactly what's going on there. Something back in India. You can also change to a 180 degree view for the back and also for the front. Front, there's not a 360 camera on this, but uh, when you're driving very slowly through a parking lot or pulling out of a driveway or something like that, you can definitely put on that front camera with this button right there. A little bit more on that a little bit later on. Lastly, let's talk about uh, talk about the roof design. You have the double tiered roof. Uh, gives a little bit extra headroom in the back. As you can see, the roof kind of goes up and away in the back there, just giving guys like me a little bit extra headroom. I'm six foot five and I fit in this thing you know, relatively fine. You have your single pane, uh, single pane sunroof. Opens up just like you'd uh, just like you'd expect with a sunroof. You can tilt it. You got the screen that comes across. No more fiddling with latches or anything like that. You can uh, you can do this all by just by touching the buttons. Now, unfortunately, guys, the roof doesn't come off of this one, but uh, on the full size Broncos when they come out, roofs, doors, everything comes off of those. These are more more uh, a little bit more civilized than the uh, than the full size Broncos. But, uh, but yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later on when we get a full size Bronco. We'll take the doors and roof off for you guys so you guys can see that. Moving on to in front of me. Um, new for the Bronco is a totally redesigned gauge cluster. Uh, you have a big digital screen in the front section there. You can see your uh, your kilometers, you know, your trip, everything like that. You have your uh, tachometer and your speedometer on both sides with your gear selector in the bottom. Very cool, very futuristic, uh, moving into the digital age kind of look. I really like it. I like having a big screen in front of me while I'm driving. So uh, definitely something to look forward to. Onto the steering wheel. Uh, very very simple controls to use this one has adaptive cruise control lane centering assist it has ford copilot 360 package blind spot detection a whole host of safety features pretty much everything ford offers is on this bronco sport badlands edition and uh, like i said lane keeping assist uh, auto rain sensing wipers and all that all that jazz so it's definitely definitely a nice safe place to be it's definitely a cool place to be and uh, i've been sitting here for the past five ten minutes now with the heated seat on and uh, it's very comfortable Driving around the lot a little bit earlier on. Definitely drives really smooth. It's, it doesn't have that rugged off-road kind of feel to it, but uh, it'll definitely go anywhere. Let's get on to the outside. We've got a couple of features to show you guys. And then there's one really cool Easter egg that, uh, that I found while I was poking around this thing. And I'll show you that a little bit later on. All right guys, so enough of the inside. Let's, uh, let's get on to the outside. Some of the styling, I was gonna say styling changes, but nothing's really changed. This is brand new. So this is all new, totally redesigned um, 2021 Bronco Sport. Right up front. Signature, Bronco, big white lettering, looks good, looks aggressive. You know exactly what's behind you, what's in front of you. Everyone knows you're driving a Bronco. And like I mentioned guys, if you wanna come up a little closer, you have this front facing camera. That's what you use for rock, uh, rock control mode or uh, your front facing camera while you're pulling out of a parking lot or something like that. You can see like trail control and so on. Brand new headlight design for the 2021 Broncos. You have that big LED light with that nice LED light strip running through. Definitely a nice feature. You got the LED fog lights. This thing looks mean as hell while you're driving at night. It's all LED lights, especially with that white Bronco badge. Looks pretty sweet. You got the nice big tow hooks in here in case you're doing some serious off-roading and you or somebody that you're with gets stuck. You can definitely pull them out with this thing. Coming around to the side, guys. This has the standard tires on it, the Pirelli Scorpions. Uh, you can upgrade to a more aggressive, more rugged, more off-road tire. A uh, couple, couple bucks extra option. And this does have the, uh, the carbonized gray aluminum wheels. My personal favorite, guys. Nice Badlands logo on there. That looks pretty tough. Looks, it looks really cool, in my opinion. So uh, definitely, definitely nice. Coming around to the back, this thing, this thing looks really cool. I haven't spent too much time with this. We haven't done, this is the first one that we've got. I spent about 20 minutes with this, so I'm kind of learning as we go. I'm kind of learning from you guys. You guys are learning from me. So let's go. I like this, it's got the nice plastic thing here uh, with the window split on both sides. It makes it look a little bit more utilitarian, more off-roady, definitely gives it a cool vibe. Coming to the back, you do have your LED tail lights. Uh, like I mentioned guys, blind spot detection is standard on this and uh, you do have your LED lights there, it looks cool. And again, big white Bronco Sport lettering on the back. Let's get into the tailgate area. So with one, one touch opens up, this has the plastic liner in the back you got your full-size spare tire, definitely nice, not a little donut dinky spare. 
And guys, like I mentioned, power plugs, power ports everywhere in this thing. In the back here, if you're off-roading, you got a 12 volt charger, you can fire up a uh, you know, compressor or something like that. And then you also have a 110 volt household outlet plug there. Definitely if you wanna plug something in, you wanna plug in a cooler, or refrigerator, or something like that, you can, definitely, you can definitely plug that in if you're out in the woods. You have clips back here, some tie downs, definitely some cool things. And one of the, one of the cool little features I noticed, not many people will see, is this light here. You press this light, I know the trunk's open right now and the lights are on in the vehicle, you can't really see, but when you turn the light on, all the lights in the back here light up and the lights here light up and then you can kind of angle them exactly where you need to see, little spotlights, definitely kind of cool if you need to see something at night. So let's turn that off and we'll shut this down and I'll show you guys one other cool feature of the back. So in a lot of previous Ford SUVs, they've done the split tailgate with the glass that opens up. Bronco Sport is no different. Like I mentioned, guys, the trunk release is on this side, but if you go over to this side, you feel there's a little but, uh, rubber popper. This actually pops the glass open. Definitely, definitely a cool feature if you need to load something in there or you just kind of want to have that open driving experience. Now onto that Easter egg that I was telling you guys that I found. When you're looking in the rearview mirror, there's a little Bronco up here. And it's, uh, it's one of like the, it looks like a first, first generation Bronco. Definitely something cool, you know, pays, pays some tribute back, uh, back to the 60s and 70s where these things really took off and that's where the name was established from. You guys, if you look on the Bronco, it says Ford in one place and one place only. And that's just on the back there. On the, uh, on the steering wheel, there's a Bronco logo. On the back, there's the Bronco logos. There's no Ford logos anywhere. Someone say, hey, what are you driving? Driving a Bronco. This is setting its own name for itself, totally separate from everything else that Ford makes. Up top, we do have the, uh, the roof rails. You can put a surfboard, you can put roof bars, you can put anything up there that you need if you put a spare tire up there if you're going off into the woods or anything like that. Underneath the hood of this one is the two liter EcoBoost engine. There are a couple different engine options available for the Bronco Sports. And uh, again, guys, the full-size Broncos come with their own, own engine configurations. But, this has been Henry, and this has been a first look at our brand new Bronco Sport. This is a 2021 model. This one is available. Uh, it's available for sale now. So if you guys are if you guys are interested in this, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a call if this is something that you're uh, something that you're interested in, guys. But that's gonna do it for today. Take care.